Hey, say, gang. Have y'all seen the ex in the fair player? Just rough handling old girl. And then it's on camera, so I guess it's like security in the in their crib, you know. And and then you think about the the, the NFL player. I think he like made some tweets or did something with a gun, and you know what I'm saying? Like just threw his little NFL career away. You got old boy, he he in the car, 150 some miles an hour, killed somebody. It's like what I'm trying to say here. Kings, we must work on ourselves. We must work on building our attitude and our temper. Like we can't just be savages out here and we only like satisfied when we see blood. You know, and we really can't be, you know, hurting these women, these queens. Because one thing I learned about a man, or myself in general, man, if you don't clear your clock, man, of being hurt by a woman or women, bro, real talk, it's only a matter of time. They gonna say something or do something and it's gonna trigger whatever that pain is deep down inside of you. It's like, it, it's gonna, it's gonna inflame it. It's gonna make that thing wake up. And sometimes you'll find yourself taking out your pain and your anger on people that's really there for you because you never really dealt with it in your past. And I think we we take too much anger out on people or situations that don't even got nothing to do with those people. Sometimes the people we pushing away are really the people that in your life to heal you or the people that possibly came in your life after your healing process. But if you don't heal properly, you start running away to healers. And the people that's supposed to help you, that's why the people that's supposed to help you start wondering, why is he acting like this? Why is she acting like this? Sometimes we got unhurt, unhealed trauma, bro, that we really don't want to sit and deal and talk about. It. We'll smoke about it, we'll drink about it, we'll pray about it, but do we actually deal with that situation, though? For real. We gotta stay cool, calm, and collective, King, as much as we can. We can't just be throwing our life away. Like, realistically, bro, like, we going to jail. Like, uh, uh, uh something, it gonna have to do with money. And it's it just not worth the time, cause now you even more angry, more upset, you feel me? So, let's try to be, you know, patient, you know what I said, and these women, and bruh, if you can't be patient with that woman, leave her alone, walk away from her. She provoking you, get the hell on. Hit the door. It, it, it go find you somewhere else to live. Cause uh, you're going to jail, you're for real. That'll be easy, gang.